Welcome to Chat Town Online Weekly Show, interviewing the personalities behind Florida's food scene. On today's episode, we'll be speaking with chef and partner of the Tudor House, Jeffrey Zarkarian. Uh, we're having a little Domaine Aunt Rosé. Cheers. Cheers. To brunch. Beautiful. To brunch. And I could drink Rosé. Actually, I do drink Rosé every day. Do you? <laughs> I could drink Rosé every day. Even in winter, it's just like I find, I mean, we've seen such a resurgence in popularity of Rosé. I've always loved it, but for some reason, the last five years, it's just like gone nuts. And I think it's great because it's a wine that, you know, it's made, this is made from actually a red grape wine. And they leave the skins on just a bit. So it's really almost a red wine in a sense, so you can drink it anytime. And it's easy. Now what's it like splitting your life between being at your restaurants and being on television? Uh, what's it like? Well, I'm first of all, you know, very sort of flattered and honored that I can do it. I mean, not everybody has, has to do this. So That's true. For me, it's a, it's a dream come true because basically what I'm doing is what I love to do anyways. And it's, it's a job, yes, but it really isn't a job for many people don't get to go out, get up in the morning and do what they do naturally, what they love to do, and get paid for it. And I'm very fortunate in that. So well, I love teaching and like educate people and talking about food. And it's really an amazing sort of way to live your life because it's what I love to do the most. So to me, it's just very easy and I'm very lucky. Oh, that's great. That was so humble. <laughs> that's how I feel. Now, we're at the Tudor House. Yes. You guys are open for lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. What are some of the signature items on the menu? What we try to do here is become really neighborhood. So we wanted to keep the context of it like, yes, we, we have really great food and okay. great products. We try to source it organically and, and you know locally whenever we can. But we also have like amazing fried chicken and things like uh, a great ugly burger, which is one of my versions of burgers I do in, in, uh, in New York and like a great Greek salad. So we try to stay really local, but also neighborhood, because at the end of the day, I mean, Miami and this part of Miami is really about the neighborhood. So we're on a corner, so we want to stay really fun, great value, great food, but also sort of have a neighborhood concept. And so that's where, and we took the name of the, the building that was here before, right. uh, and we just thought Judah House just has a, has a nice ring to it. It does, and I had the fried chicken. You did, you had a lot of food. It was it? amazing. <laughs> no, it's really Talk good. about the ugly burger though, really quickly. Well, what, I mean, what's an ugly burger? You know, it's a burger that we, we hand grind here, and the name came from the reviewer in the New York Times uh, this year, came and reviewed a burger I had in New York City, uh, which is the same grind that we use here. And he said it was just delicious, but so ugly. <laughs> and I said, that is an amazing compliment. Because it just, be ugly. It, it just like, it's juicy and it falls apart and it's, it, it's sort of messy, but that's right. what a burger is supposed to be. It is. And I'm like, wow, that's great. So I just said, let's just call it the ugly burger as a joke. And it's stuck and people love it. Okay, the ugly burger. Yeah, the ugly burger. Now today we're at the Rosé Brunch. Yes. Let's. It's an a la carte brunch, right? Yes. The brunch is a sort of, uh, it's become really popular again. I mean, they used to be with, you know, you take your grandmother to brunch. Right. And that was about the extent of brunch. Aww. Now you're dancing at tables, but so we have, we don't have that here quite yet. But we have. You know, we can work on that. We can work on that. So we have uh, uh, great music and we have really great food and we have a two items that we really love, which is a Bloody Mary cart, which you can see right over there. Yes. And uh, which is just our little fun way of concocting the Bloody Marys. And then we have a dessert cart, which we call a dim sum cart, because it's a little small dessert that you can come and pick one or two and you can buy them per piece. So if you want to have dessert, you can. If you want to have a couple of just bites of things, you can. It's just you do what it you all. Want. Yeah, it's fun. And you have regular um, brunch items, regular like brunch the eggs, items. Yeah, the we have whole eggs, we have deal. the chicken, fried chicken, we have great salads, uh, great tuna, great some ceviche, some mm, crudo. Okay. So just about, we're just about perfect for anything you really want at this hour. And don't forget, you know, people are coming out from a, a long day out at the clubs here. So like right. 11 or 12, they, they get up, they want to have a little hair of the dog. And then, you know, maybe have some oysters and then start slowly into some, some food. Working their way in yeah. again, you know. I hear, I guess you help a hangover if you drink a little more the next you day, right? You have to have a little something up. Now the rosés, how many different rosé varieties do you well, offer? Well, we try to offer, we have some old world and new world, and I think we have from Spain, we have from um, France, we have from the United States. So we have a really good variety, not a huge variety, but just I think is enough. Okay. What are some of the things you can't get enough of lately, like a food obsession? We're all, you know, chefs are really always on an endless quest for things that are old that they can recreate. So we're, you know, we're always looking to recreate stuff. So our menu is based upon like a lot of things here, like a panzanella salad, you know, 
I love a panzanella salad, but not many people make it. And usually it's like sort of an afterthought. It's, it's messy tomatoes and messy bread just thrown together. So we're trying to, I mean, Jamie and I, the chef here, try to find things that are really old and bring them back. So that's why we did a French a fried chicken, and that's why we did a panzanella salad. Uh, that's what we do, like, uh, we have something, uh, we have more potato chips with French onion dip. I mean, French onion dip is... Love French onion dip. Exactly, but it's... it's it's not your grandmother's French onions, it's actually really onions, you know, okay. like onion powder. Real onions in there. Yeah, so I think if you ask me what I'm on a quest for, it's for what, what, I, what I want is like, I always want to go backwards and get stuff that I, that's not been done very well and like right. give it some respect. Okay, you know? I like that. How many pairs of glasses do you own? How many pairs of glasses? Why did you ask that question? Because you change them up, right? Aren't you known for uh, your, yeah, your glasses? Yeah, I have a lot of glasses. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's an inexpensive way to... <laughs> You have to buy a suit, you just get another pair of glasses. Okay, I like that. I have about, I would say, 12 pairs. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. How many pairs of no, shoes do you have? I probably have more than 12 exactly. pairs of shoes, so that's a, bit, <laughs> that's a fair answer. Now, when we were here the other night, uh, Jamie let us in on a little tip, so I, tip? I, I have a something tip. for you. Yes, he mentioned that you liked um, lotions. Oh, my God. So we, a, we went and picked up a little lotion pack for actually, you. I'm very impressed. A little to-go travel kit. That Hopefully is very it's, you know, sweet. something that you'll enjoy. He just that, mentioned you know it, so we thought. You no know. one's ever done that to me. Well, thank you very much. You're very much. welcome. That is so sweet. <laughs> and thank you for being on the show. It's Let's have a pleasure. final cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Have a great weekend. <laughs> you too. I was looking at that bag. I'm like, what is that, I right? Have no, I mean, like